Hey everyone, so this is my review of The Flash, Season 4, Episode 1, called The Flash Reborn. And essentially what this episode is about is that the team finds a way to get Barry out of the Speed Force. But when they discover him and get him home and stuff, they realize that he's not quite the same. And this was a really, really interesting and really exciting episode that had so, so many really great moments to it. And it was just so, so entertaining to watch. And I did really enjoy all the beginning moments in it with the team sort of dealing with the loss of Barry in their own ways and trying to move forward with still saving and protecting the city without him. And just all that was just really interesting to see how they all dealt with it, especially when it came to Iris, where overall it kind of felt like she was trying to avoid feeling anything, but then later it's discovered that what she was really trying to do when she was putting on this very angry sort of attitude towards everyone, that she was doing that in order to try and keep everyone together. And just all that, like I said, just was really, really interesting to see what they did. And then how Cisco eventually managed to get Barry out of the Speed Force was really interesting with him and Caitlin sort of teaming up to create this device that somehow managed to trick the Speed Force into believing that Barry was still there because this ball of like energy or something had some of Barry's DNA in it. And that's interesting, but overall, in my opinion, I don't think it's going to last and that's going to be a plot point somewhere in there is that this energy thing doesn't trick the speed force for very long and that they have to come up with some other solution. And I'm just very interested to see if that is the case, what's all going to happen there. And then I do really enjoy Caitlyn being back because in my opinion she is a very important part of the team. And her whole storyline that was revealed by the end of this episode is really interesting with her having like this almost Jekyll and Hyde sort of alter ego where each side wants to take control, but one side's sort of winning over the other and it's her struggling that way. And that I'm very excited to see because it is more extended than what it has been in the past where both sides have some power. And I'm just really excited to see what they're gonna do there. Even though I am willing to accept a very nicer Killer Frost, I do enjoy this storyline better. And then I'm a little disappointed that Julian's not a part of this because they did make some mention that he's back in England doing his other stuff. And I really, really hope that he comes back because yes, he's not needed if Caitlyn's there, but still, he was a fun addition to the show that I really did enjoy. And then everything around like Crazy Mad Barry was interesting with him sort of uh, writing all these symbols and speaking nonsense and doing all this stuff. And I really hope that that nonsense and that all that writing that he did comes back to help them in some way. That those codes do eventually fit into something where it's like each individual sentence or something like that makes no sense, but then once you put all those sentences into like some code decoder, then it becomes something or something like that that eventually helps them. I really hope that that does happen and that all that writing that he did and stuff didn't amount to nothing. And then the main villain in this being this weird like samurai um, android was interesting to see, especially once it was revealed who the main villain actually is by the end of this episode. So I'm very, very excited to see how that samurai might come back to bite them or how that's eventually gonna lead them to the thinker. And having the thinker as a villain, I'm very excited to see what they're gonna do with the character. And I wish they would have done a bit more, but hopefully they will do it in the future with explaining how Barry sort of got out of his crazy trance because yes, he made some sort of mentions that him saving Iris sort of helped break him out of it, but there was no real explanation as to why that is. So I'm waiting and really curious and excited to see if they will bring that back up that, oh, because of this, this, and this, that's what actually snapped him out of it and not just have it be something up in there that all, all of a sudden he was really mad and crazy and then sudden like click brought him back to normal. I just really hope that there's something more to that. Otherwise, it's going to be a really annoying sort of plot point in my mind. But still, overall, this was a really, really amazing and great first episode to sort of introduce the season. 
and I'm really excited to see where they're going to take the story and where they're going to go from here. So yeah, that's my review of The Flash, season 4, episode 1, called The Flash Reborn. So yeah, bye!